Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Hey welcome back. Are you ready to learn how to hand carve a wooden tractor seat? Well, if so, it's your lucky day. Because today, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to carve a wooden tractor seat. So I think it's pretty apparent where I came up with this idea. And I've even used this old authentic tractor seat to get the dimensions to make this one. And as you can see, this old tractor seat is 16 inches wide by 12 inches deep. So that's exactly the dimensions we've chosen to make our tractor seat. But instead of using steel, we're going to hand carve our wooden tractor seats out of a two and a half inch piece of pine log. And just like everything else you see around here, the logs we're going to use for this have been recovered directly off the Waldo Canyon burn scar. Now before we jump right in and get started, we need to talk about some of the basic tools you're going to need to complete this project. And here you can see, it's pretty simple really. We've got us a four and a half inch angle grinder, a jigsaw, and our skill saw. Of course you don't want to forget you're going to need a tape measure, something to mark with, and the most important tools of all are right here. So let's take a minute and talk about these three critical tools right here. You know for years when you wanted to hand carve wood, you didn't have a whole lot of options. You needed a knife or a handful of chisels. But times have changed and so have tools. And there's a company that's changed right along with them. That's King Arthur Tools. And thanks to King Arthur Tools, we've got us a whole new set of these one-of-a-kind carving tools. Come on, let's check them out. Yeah, I ran into this company several years ago while doing log homes. We were always needing uh, specialty carving tools and we ran into King Arthur Tools. They specialize in carving tools designed for your angle grinder and bench grinder. And you can find all these tools and more at katools.com. Or go to their Facebook at King Arthur Tools. So this is just like Christmas in August. But it's a good thing because we've got all sorts of specialty carving projects coming up. Here, let's take a closer look at what we got. And then we'll run these through their paces. Yep, we've got the Squire, and the Lancelots, and the Holy Galahad. And a new disc. It's the DIY disc. Really anxious to use this. Yep, and the Squire and Lancelot are nothing more than a chainsaw chain attached to a disc that attaches to your angle you grinder. You may remember a video I did about a year ago called How to Use Your Angle Grinder on Wood. So enough of this talk already. Let's get out our safety gear and get to work on what we came here for. Let's carve ourselves a wooden tractor seat. So as we get started, one of the first things I do is I start looking at the piece of wood I'm going to be using and I look for knots and things like that that will give it character. So here on this three seated bench you'll see a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I've worked around these knots on each of these seats. And that's the same thing I'm going to do here. I, I see a couple knots that I'm going to work with as I start laying out these two seats. So the first thing we're going to do is use this knot as the center point for our seat. And remember we needed 16 inches from side to side. Then we needed 12 inches from the front to the back and looky there that's exactly what we've got on this log. So now I'm going to use my superior artistic abilities <laughs> to trace a radius from that point to that point. About like this. Next we're going to actually mark another inch and a half wider on both sides. Except this time you'll see that that radius runs off the back side of that log. But that's alright because you'll see here that log kind of rounds out, so it's all going to work. Let's do the same thing over here using this knot. Yep, we'll use this knot as the center point. We'll go 8 inches both ways, making our 16. We'll go ahead and continue that out another inch and a half there, another inch and a half here, making the overall width 19 inches. We'll pull back that 12 inches, and then you guessed it. Draw another circle. Alright then, now that we've got these marked up, it's time to grab our face shield, our angle grinder, and our new King Arthur tools. Head on out there and start doing some carving. So for today's carving demonstration, we're going to start out by using this 14 tooth Lancelot. It's got a 5 8 inch arbor designed for just about any 4.5 inch angle grinder. You just lock it down with a standard fastening nut. Making sure this arrow right here matches the direction of your angle grinder. 
And one quick warning here. If you've never used an angle grinder, you're going to want to make sure to read and understand the owner's manual that came with it. And above all, you must use this safety guard that comes with your angle grinder. So what do you say we fire this thing up? Make some wood chips. Yeah, so I think you'll see this happens in a hurry. And we're really doing that same radius motion that we did earlier when we marked these things out. And all we're doing right here in the center is leaving a few inches all the way around this mark that we made for the center. So that's going to create that hump in the center. So let's keep going. Along the way, just to make sure you're on the right path, you can always test it out. <laughs> That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and do this other one. Yeah, we'll spin this around and do it all over again. Yep, and just like that, you're ready to test another one. That's nice. So now we're going to take time to switch out from this Lancelot attachment to the Holy Galahad. And for this grinding attachment, we're going to use the 7 8 Arbor Adapter. Like that. This slips right into place, and then we'll use the nut that came with it. Then we'll plug back up our angle grinder, and we're good to go. And you'll notice the nice thing about this Holy Galahad is that you can actually see through to the surface that you're grinding on. This is one good carving tool. Yeah, come on, let's do the other one. Yep, all that's left now is to take these on back inside and do some final sanding, cut them down to size. And for that, we're going to use a few of these basic hand tools. Starting with a circular saw, we're going to cut off the main portions that we don't need. Alright, so now we'll set this aside and grab our jigsaw and finish cutting out these rails. Man, I think you'll agree, there's really nothing to it. Especially when you've got these awesome carving tools from King Arthur Tools and KATools.com. So I'm going to keep sanding on these and in no time at all I'll be bolting them on to our steel legs. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. This has been Mitchell Dillman. We'll see you again next week. Now, if you want to see more cool carving videos featuring King Arthur's tools, you better click subscribe now and come on back next time. We're going to get started on some of this cool stuff.